In this example, we want to factor the given expression completely. So to be able to do that, we need to first kind of assess what we have so that we know how to tackle the problem. So what we're looking at is several different things multiplied together, but then that's followed by a plus sign. That plus sign right there is separating out really our terms. There's two terms, the term that comes before the plus sign and the term that comes after the plus sign. But each one of those two terms have uh, various factors that are multiplied together, and some of those factors match. So the smart way of being able to factor this expression completely is not just multiplying everything out and then trying to figure out how to factor that polynomial. Um, it really is looking at what's before and what's after that plus sign so that we can see what's common in those two terms. So looking um, at the constants, the numbers, we see that we have a 4 as a factor that comes uh, before the plus sign. And we actually have the 2 times the 2, which together would be 4, that comes after the plus sign. So what we have then is a common factor of 4 that we could pull out of the first and the second term. Now, um, the factor 4x plus 1 appears both before and after that plus sign. It appears twice before it because it has the power 2, and it appears three times after it because it has the power 3. So the greatest common factor that we could pull out there um, related to that factor is 4x plus 1 to the second power because um, that's the smaller of the two powers we see. Uh, lastly, the factor 2x minus 5 appears both before and after the plus sign. And we see that it has a, a multiplicity, a power of 2 before the plus sign, and just the power of 1 understood after the plus sign. So we can only pull out a single factor there of 2x minus 5. So altogether, that's our greatest common factor. 4 times 4x plus 1 raised to the second power times 2x minus 5. So if we pull out uh, all of that as our greatest common factor, what we have to do next is figure out what's left over. So um, in the term that comes before the plus sign, uh, we have left over that constant 3. Um, the 4x plus 1 to the second power, we pulled out that completely as well as the 4 we pulled it out completely but the 2x minus 5 raised to the second power we did not pull it out completely we just pulled out one copy of it so we're left with one more copy there um, for our first term the term that comes before the plus sign there in the middle so uh, following that plus sign uh, we do the same sort of assessment what did we pull out what's left there so uh, the two copies of the 2 came together to give us the 4, and then the 4x plus 1 raised to the second power was pulled out, so then that leaves us with one more factor there um, of 4x plus 1. Uh, the 2x minus 5 was pulled out completely, so that uh, finishes us off. So now um, we've pulled out our greatest common factor. We've looked to see what's left over. Now it just remains to see in those square back brackets, um, how can we simplify that? And to do that, uh, we're going to not forget what we pulled out here. So we'll copy it down to the next line. But now we're going to start cleaning up what's in uh, the square back brackets. Okay. And we see that we do have some parentheses there, and we've got um, a constant uh, of 3 out in front of one factor. And so we need to uh, go ahead and uh, multiply that through so that we can start gathering our like terms. So we've uh, multiplied the 3 across, and we've got 3 times 2x is 6x, and then uh, minus 3 times 5 would be minus 15. And then we do have that plus in another set of parentheses, but since it's just plus, it's not like we need to distribute a negative sign or anything, and there's no constant out front there to distribute either. So really those um, parentheses are extra. So we can go ahead and drop them. So now um, we're almost done. We'll copy it over the first factors that we had pulled out as our greatest common factor, and uh, we'll gather our like terms here in this last factor that is in square back brackets. So we've got a 6x plus a 4x. Altogether, that would be 10x. And then we've got a minus 15 plus 1, so together that would be minus 14. So now, technically speaking, uh, 10x minus 14 has a greatest common factor of 2 that we could pull out. So we're going to go ahead and do that. 
um, just to make this factored completely. So we copy down the greatest common factor that we had originally pulled out. Um, now here in our brackets, we're going to pull out a common factor of 2, leaving us with the 5x minus 7 left over in brackets. And so we have here with uh, like commutative and associative properties of multiplication, since everything is multiplied, we can um, multiply this 4 and this 2 together to have our... Uh, our coefficient or our constant factor 8 altogether, and then we've got um, the rest to copy through to give us our nice final uh, factored, factored form of this polynomial.